started here in just a second. All right, well, good morning, everybody. My name is Coach Scott. So glad that you are here today for our you and me class, which is for ages 18 months to three years old. Uh, we're going to begin with a warm up song and then uh, I'm just going to fix our camera. And then uh, after the warm up song, we'll do some stretches. Then I have a really fun alphabet exercise that will help us learn the letters of the alphabet, get active and moving, having some fun. And from there, we're going to go on to do some work on the balance beam. So uh, for me, my beam is a tape beam. You might be like, what in the world is a tape beam? Well, I can tell you, a tape beam is when you take tape and you make the shape of a beam on the floor. Ta-da! I know, high quality, right? Well, it's what I have. I don't have a beam at home, so this is what I use when I wanna work on my balance beam skills. And you can do the same too. So if you don't have a beam at home, then by all means, you can make a tape beam on the floor. So at least you can focus on going in that straight line and do your best to try to stay on the beam. The nice thing about this kind of beam is if you fall off, um, you really haven't fallen because it's right on the same level as your mat or floor. So uh, we're gonna get started here. This song is called the uh, Arms Up. So if you want to start actually by sitting down, we will get started with our warm up song, all right? Make sure you dance. Good job. 
So that's our fun warm up song for today. We're going to go right into some stretching. So if you want to make sure you have some space where you can sit down, we will sit down in our straddle. All right, and we're going to reach our arms up super high and we're going to clap three times. Ready? We're going to go one, two, and three. And then we're going to reach down for one of our feet. All right. And bring my arms back up. This time we're going to count to two and clap two times. Ready? We're going to go one and two and reach for your other foot. Good work. Arms back up high. We're going to count to one and make one big clap. Ready? One. And we're going to reach for the middle. Good work. Okay. Now we're going to shake our legs into the pike position. So our legs are together. Our legs are flat. You can point your toes. Can you point your toes? All right. And then I'm going to flex my toes. So flexing is when your toes kind of point back at you. Okay. So look, I'll go this way so you can see my toes, All right? This is point. Here we have flex, all right? So my toes are flexing. Now I'm gonna take my arms and I'm gonna to touch my toes three times, ready? And after each one, we'll come all the way back up. Can you do it with me? Let's count to three. Go one, all the way back up. Two, all the way back up. And three, all the way back up. Good job. Now watch, we're gonna lift one of our feet up in the air and we're gonna roll our ankle. Roll it around, move that foot. And you can draw a picture if you want while we do this. I'm going to draw a picture of, hmm, of a baseball game. You can draw whatever you want. And now I'm gonna give that knee a nice big hug like this. Oh, give it a squeeze and a kiss. Good job. And let's do our other ankle. So if you lift your other leg up and move that ankle all around. Round and round your foot goes. Good. All right. And you want to give that knee a big hug too so it doesn't feel left out. Oh, give it a squeeze and then a kiss. Good. And we're going to do our butterfly. Ready? Feet together. You're going to hold your feet with your hands and then you make your knees go up and down. You're going to flap them like they're wings of a butterfly. And we're going to fly all around our backyard. And you're going to maybe go visit a butterfly bush and go land on a flower. What color is it? Is it red? Is it orange? Maybe it's purple. Maybe it's a light blue. But then you fly to the next flower and then you flutter all the way back to your butterfly home and land. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna crisscross our legs, put your arms out nice and wide like this, and we're gonna make one big clap. Ready? Clap. And we're gonna roll our wrists and we'll make the meatballs. No, today isn't a meatball day, is it? You know what today is? Today's an ice cream day. We're gonna make ice cream. All right, let's make some ice cream. Roll your wrists and we're making the ice cream right now. What flavor are you gonna have? You could have chocolate chip, you could have chocolate. I'm gonna have coffee Oreo. Ooh, it's all rolled out, good. Okay, now what do you want on your ice cream? Do you want some sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles? Um, do you want some hot, cho uh, hot chocolate fudge, chocolate fudge? All right, ready? Let's shake it on top of your ice cream. Shake, 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 shake. All right, good. And you know what? We forgot to put all the ice cream in a cone. So ready? Hold your cone in front or your bowl. And we're gonna go. Wow, that's a lot of ice cream, isn't it? We're gonna eat it all up. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, my brain is so cold. Oh, it was delicious. How was yours? Was it good? I bet it was. All right, so we had our ice cream 
And maybe we're going to eat our ice cream at a table, maybe a picnic table. So let's try to make a table to eat at. We're going to put our feet flat on the floor in front of us. You take your hands, you're going to put them kind of just behind you a little bit. And we're going to lift our belly button up to the ceiling. Try to get your belly nice and flat. Good work. And then we're going to come back down. Now uh, we're going to rock and roll. Ready? You're going to take your hands and you're going to grab your knees like this or your shins. All right. And we're going to rock back and then we're going to roll forward. Mom and dad, you might need to help your child. You can put one hand on their knees here and the other hand on their upper back, support their neck a little bit and help them rock back and roll forward. But I'm going to rock back and roll forward. You want to get a nice rounded back to rock back and roll forward. Because if it's flat, you're just going to get stuck like me. Help. And then we roll forward. Whew, that was a close one. So you want to have a round back to rock and roll. All right. Let's do one more table. And push your belly up. Good work. I see that good work. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to go for our activity, which is the alphabet exercise. All right. So for this one, we're going to go through all the letters of the alphabet. Do you know how many letters there are? There's not one, not two, not three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There's 26 letters. So we've got 26 activities for all the letters, all right? One for each letter. So first, we're gonna stand up. No, we're gonna kneel down and we're going to do a cat stretch. Ready? We're gonna sit on our knees, we're gonna reach forward, oh, we're gonna stretch. Oh! Oh, so that's A. A was acting like a cat. Now for B, we're gonna be a butterfly. We just did this one, remember? We're gonna put our feet together and we're gonna flap our wings. B is for butterfly, all right? Now, for C, we're going to do a crab walk, okay? So we did A, was act like a cat, B, butterfly, crab walk is C, C is for crab. So you're going to put your feet in front, hands behind, and you're going to try to move your hands and your feet. This one's tricky, all right? So if you're not able to move too much, that's okay. But C is for crab walk, all right? D is for Dance. All right. So think of your favorite song and just just dance around like this. However you like to dance. That's all. All right. So D was for dance. E is for elephant stomps. So make believe you're like you're an elephant. That wasn't half bad. And we're gonna stomp our feet like an elephant. Make it like, pretend like you're a fast elephant. Good. All right, F is for flying like a bird. Ready? Arms go up and arms go down. You're flying like a bird. G is for gallop. We're gonna gallop like a horse. Ready? Put one foot in front and bring your foot to it. We're gonna gallop around. So we've done A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H is for hop. We're gonna hop like a bunny. Ready? Hop, hop. Mom and dad, if they need help hopping, because maybe they're not able to do it yet, you can put your arms underneath their armpits and you can help lift them up and give them the sensation of hopping. We're gonna hop. I is for inchworm, okay? This one is kind of tricky. But you're gonna go on your hands and we'll go on our feet. And you're gonna move your hands and then you're gonna move your feet. And then you're gonna move your hands and then you're gonna move your feet. Then you can move your hands and move your feet. If that one was hard, you can pretend like you're in it, like you're in an igloo. 
so cold in here. It's actually not too cold in an igloo, but I is for igloo or for inchworm. J is for jumping jacks. So we're gonna stand back up and we're gonna go like this. Watch, we're gonna go open. So my legs go apart, my arms go out and up, and then it's gonna go closed. And then we're gonna go open, closed, open and closed. All right, good job. So that's our jumping jacks. K is for kick, okay? We're gonna go kick, kick, kick. Make sure you don't kick anything. Kick, kick, kick. Next is the letter L. So L is for log roll. So you wanna lay on your belly, put your arms straight in front like this, and we're gonna put our legs together and we're gonna rock, we're gonna roll rather. This way, we're gonna roll like a log back and roll like a log. Roll like a log back. L is for log roll. M, the letter M is brought to you by marching. Okay, now we're gonna march. Make sure you bring those knees up. Now watch my arms. My left knee goes up, my right arm goes up. March. Make sure you get those knees up high. Okay, bring those knees up. M is for marching. N, the letter N is brought to you by river dance. And we're gonna make noisy steps. Noisy steps. All right, I hope you had fun with that one. And it's for noisy steps. O is for open arms, open arms. And the open arms actually go whoosh and they close, and then they go, whoosh, and they open, and then they go, whoosh, and they close, open, close, open, close, good job, all right. Now, P is for penguin walk, okay? This one, you're gonna try to bring your toes off the ground, and you're gonna walk with straight legs, like a penguin. It's more like a penguin waddle. So you try to get your toes off the ground, all right? And you walk around, good. P is for penguin walk. We've also got the letter Q, Q. Hmm, how about quiet hops? See if you can hop, but be so quiet, I don't even hear you, okay? Can you hop quietly, ready? That wasn't too quiet, was it? No, let's try that again, ready? Ooh, that was better. Even better. All right. Good, Q is for quiet hops. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, R is for Roll, so we're gonna do a forward roll. Ready? You're gonna bend at the knees. You're gonna put your hands out in front. Now we're gonna tuck our head, and ideally, mom, dad, if you're helping, we want the back of the neck to be what touches the floor. So we really have to tuck our head as much as we can, so we roll, all right? As I roll right off the screen. Okay, so that was our roll. You put your arms out in front, we'll do one more. Arms out in front, tuck your head, roll, okay? That is our roll, R is for roll. S is for straddle. We can sit in our straddle, excellent. And then T is for table. U is for you know what, use hard. We're gonna do a U-turn on the beam, otherwise known as a pivot turn. Then you're gonna walk, and then on your toes, you're gonna turn, and you're gonna go back the other way. U-turn, there we go. V is for vacuum. Grrr. 
or if you have a really good fancy one, it's probably quiet. You don't even hear it. B is for vacuum. And then we've got W, that's for wiggle. Because who doesn't like to wiggle? X is for extra jumping jacks. Extra jumping jacks. All right. Y is for yoga. We're going to do a downward dog. Try to keep your hands flat, feet flat. Good. And Z is for zigzag. I'm going to zig and I'm going to zag as I come up here to get a drink of water. And that is the alphabet exercise activity. I hope you had fun. You can make up any uh, motion activity movement that you want for each letter. And you can do that at home on your own. You could do your name. So my name is Scott. So I could do a straddle. Then I could do a candlestick. Then I could do open close with my arms. And then I could do maybe a tuck jump and a, what I use for tea? A table. All right, so you can do that activity all on your own at home anytime you want to work on your letters and to just have some fun getting moving, all right? So our last part of class today is gonna to be some balance beam stuff. So for this, I'm gonna use my beautiful tape beam. Isn't it gorgeous? And I'm gonna show you some different things that you can practice at home, whether you have a regular beam or if you have a tape beam, okay? So if you're ready, we'll get started, okay? So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on just crawling on the beam, okay? So you're gonna move your arms and your legs as you crawl along the beam. So I'm gonna turn around here, okay? So as you move your right hand, you wanna move your left knee. This is coordinating our body so that we're using our left and our right. We're crossing over that midline here, all right? We're crawling. So you can crawl back and forth on the beam maybe two or three more times on your own, okay? Another activity you can do, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different things here. Um, that way you'll have a lot that you can pull from um, on your own at home. Now I'm going to walk sideways. You might not see my head, um, but I'm going to stand on my tape beam. See my tape beam here? and I'm going to put my hands on my hips and I'm just going to walk sideways, okay? Oop. Make sure you stay on that beam though, okay? Good, now I'm gonna go back the other way, all right? For this one, you can go back and forth. You can turn around and do it if you want to, though it's much the same, all right? But that is walking sideways. Another thing that you can work on would be walking forwards and backwards, okay? So you start on your beam. You wanna to try to have one foot in front of the other for this one, that's the challenge, okay? You're keeping your balance while I do it. Hands on your hips, or if you need to, you can go arms out like an airplane. Now, mom or dad, if you're helping your little one walk on the balance beam and you have one that's actually off the ground, uh, make sure it's no higher than uh, knee height. Uh, we really don't want any higher for our preschool students, okay? So knee height beam or lower, and that's great. If they're walking forward or backward and they go arms out, you can help them by putting your hands right on either side of their torso, all right? Or even your arms. So that way if they falter side to side, you can catch them. Um, try to encourage them that they can do it without holding onto your arms. That's always the temptation. They'll wanna grab onto your arms, but your arms are just there as a safety obviously if they're ready to do something like that, but forward and backward walking, all right? So I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. I'm gonna put one foot in front of the other. Now my eyes are looking at the end of the balance beam, okay? So I'm looking down there. I don't wanna look at my feet like this. If you look at your feet, your weight is going forward and you're gonna fall, okay? So look to the end of the beam and walk nice and slow, okay? Now, we're gonna go backwards. For backwards, you can do this, put one foot back, bring the other foot to it. That might be what's most comfortable for you right now, and that's okay if it is. But if you want to challenge yourself, what you can do is you can have one foot in front of the other, but I'm gonna take my front foot and I'm gonna bring it behind 
my other foot, all right? Now for this one too, you wanna to try to keep your eyes on the end of the beam, not at your feet, all right? So I'm gonna walk forward and I'm gonna try that again. Backward, walking on my beam, okay? Nice and slow. Cool, good work, all right. Now, the last thing that we're gonna work on today, and these are, once again, these are things you can do multiple times without me. You can do forward and backward. You can do sideways walk. You can do the crawl. The other one we're gonna work on is jumping off the beam. Make sure it's no higher than knee height. Uh, jumping off and landing in our safe landing position, okay? So our safe landing position, you can do it with me, is this. We bend at the knees, our arms are out, kind of like we're going to sit down in a chair, but we're stuck to land, okay? So ready? We're gonna do our safe landing position. Ready? One, two, three. Safe landing position. Good. Now, if you're ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our beam, and I'm gonna have you walk forward. Ready? We're gonna walk forward on our beam. Nice and slow. Then we're gonna stop wherever we are, okay? Now from here, we're gonna jump off the side of the beam to our safe landing position. So I'm just gonna go safe landing, all right? I'll show you one more time. So I'm gonna walk forward on my beam. I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna jump off safe landing position and finish. All right, safe landing position is a body position that we're gonna use on many different skills and all different events. So it's always good to work on making sure you can land in a safe and secure way. All right, so if you're doing the skill tracking portion of our virtual classes at home, feel free to submit a video of your child uh, jumping off the beam, landing in that safe landing position. Uh, or you can send a video of them walking forwards and backwards to skill track at metrosouthgymnastics.com. My name is Coach Scott. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great day. High five. Fist bump. Blow it up. Bam. Bye.